If you were watching this video, you thought about picking up maybe one or either a set of Samyang Cine Prime lenses. These lenses have been around now for about six years, but are they worth buying in 2022 and going on into 2023? This isn't gonna be a video of me tearing the lenses apart and pixel peeping, but rather a review from someone who has used these lenses on a professional basis and in my own passion projects. So let's take a look at the Samyang Cine Primes. Although these lenses are labelled a budget lens, this should definitely not put you off because they offer so much great value compared to many cine lenses on the market. The model I am using is for full frame cameras and are the UMC2 versions with an EF mount. I have used these with my Sony cameras and used basically a Sony adapter to use the EF mount. When it comes to video, the benefits of using cine lenses is consistent output in terms of lighting and exposure and it does this with the use of t-stops while photo lenses will offer measurements of the opening of the lens in an f-stop the cine lens offers a more exact measurement of the amount of light that passes through the lens the t-stops this cine lens feature enables the shooter to maintain continuity in scenes that were recorded hours or even days apart another difference is that cine lenses are usually developed to deliver matching image characteristics and with this i mean color and sharpness also having the same diameter filter ring means swapping setups between lenses a lot easier and the focus and aperture wheels are equal distance throughout the set which means quick swapping when using focus pulling gear as all these lenses are manual focus as are most cine lenses and this is because having control of the focus can really aid in the process of visual storytelling the frame of the lens is compact and solid since it's made of high strength aluminium alloy so trustworthy images can be captured even under inferior environments. The focus and aperture rings are hard wearing also and the lens mount is nice and secure when on the camera. They feel nice to operate and have a good weight to them and the lenses feature nice smooth focus and aperture rings and have markings for t-stop and focus distance on both sides of the lens which is really useful when camera operating and this feature is sometimes missing from higher end lenses. Overall for a budget lens they are really well put together. When talking about the price of these lenses these honestly are a steal for what they are you can pick up a set for around 1200 to 1500 great british pounds and if you're buying these lenses individually you can get them for as little as 200 pound each if you shop around online when comparing to some other brands on the market you can get a whole set for the cost of one lens which is absolutely incredible now when it comes to image quality for me this is seriously good out of these lenses it's nice and sharp has a really nice contrast and the images are really clean i find myself usually shooting them at about a t-stop of 2.8 as anything lower honestly the focus point becomes insanely tight and that is probably one of my main complaints with this lens is when you are shooting at the t-stop of 1.5 it's really hard to get anything in focus and if you've got a focus puller he will not be your best friend there is some focus breathing to be seen on them also with the 35 mil seeming to be the worst but at this cost they're not going to be perfect the same with the chromatic aberration this can be seen in some bright scenes but all in all I really do like these lenses and have shot some really nice work with them they handle flaring well and produce a nice contrasty sharp image which is something that is pleasing to the eye I think if you are a filmmaker on a budget you will be hard pushed to find a better set of cine lenses at this price even in 2022 and going on into 2023, these lenses cannot be overlooked. And considering the price, like I say, you can pick these up for so cheap. Honestly, they are an absolute steal. I've owned these since new and I've only recently parted ways with them as I've picked up a vintage set of cine lenses for my work now. I hope this has helped you if you are looking at these lenses and I would love to hear your thoughts on them below if you are using them. Once again, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. That's all for now.